right, so today I'm going to Germany. All right, we're at the airport. We parked at 2W. Remind me, I parked at 2W. All right, next reminder, I'm at shuttle stop one. Come on! Here we go! Woo! <laughs> How many? How many escalators is this now? Is this five or six? Oh gosh. Wow. So we're on like a this looks like a train on top of a military vehicle. It's pretty dope. You know me. <laughs> wow. I wonder how fast it goes. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right, so I am at Dulles International Airport, and just like I said, I'm headed out to Germany. I'm going to Germany with my wife. She's going over there for work, and uh, I get to drive, go along and be her driver. And uh, we'll see what happens from here. I'll check in in a bit. Down the square people pipe I go. So I'm done the first leg of the trip. Now we have a little bit of a layover and then we'll be going to Nuremberg. But most important thing, got my first beer. Local time, it's like 7.30 in the morning. Guess what? I've been up for 20 hours. Yeah. All right. I'll catch y'all back up when I get to my final destination. Day two. All right, so I know it's been a minute. <laughs> All right, so last you saw, I think I just touched down in uh, Norberg. And once we got in from the hotel, I'm from the airport, got a rental. Speaking of the rental, it's a Mercedes class, Mercedes Benz C, C class. 300 meters at the end of the road, turn right. 
So it's a C200. Uh, it's raining outside, so I probably won't be able to do any sort of like overall review of this thing. But I'm gonna drive it for a little while. I'm actually headed to the Porsche Museum right now. So I am in Schellen turn right. Schellendorf. And I am headed to the Porsche Please Museum. Follow the road for one kilometer. And I have about 85 kilometers to go before I get to the Porsche Museum. So I should be there in about an hour and a half, I guess. Maybe less. But I'm having a great time. So I wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that I'm seeing, some of the things that I'm doing. One of those things being the Autobahn. So Prepare to turn left. So what I what I found out is that basically all of the highways are Autobahn. And that's what the A stands for. So I'm going on the a6 right now and i haven't figured out if you know if it's the same as in the states where the even numbers run east and west and the odd numbers run north and south in 300 meters uh, but at I the am, stop sign turn left i'm driving through <clears throat> like i said this little town called schellendorf some of these cars out here freaking ridiculous now turn left all right so i mean all wagons everything a lot of these vehicles and then you know let's look at the town for a second Hyundai, Audi, Volkswagen there's a Volkswagen like Lupo or Polo we don't have those what is that is that a caddy no it isn't oh, look at that In 200 meters, make a U-turn. Passat wagon, four motion. All the wagons. So dope. So cool. Why can't we be cool and have wagons like in the United States? All right, I'll pick this back up once I'm on an Autobahn. Can you see the smile on my face? It's in one guess as to where I am currently. But I want to show you a couple of things. Here's the navigation, the heads up navigation, or the navigation in the car. And see that, that right there? It's actually a black circle, but it's coming up red. But a circle with black lines on it, okay? And then those lines in the middle, that means I am on a place with no speed limit. Notice the trucks out here on the, on the right, everything's on the right. And you know, I'm nonchalantly cruising, getting up to, there's 140 kph. It's 150 kph. And I'm chilling here while I have the camera in my hand. But, so this point of the road or part of the road is all asphalt. And again, notice the trucks all off to the right. light on the dash that one right there that shows up when I get too close to a car but as expected it's moving out of the way now I see this is a BMW wagon up here
do you pronounce that? I've been saying asphalt. Please follow the motorway for 51 kilometers. Sure thing. It's a
All right, so I finally got past that slow poke, and uh, I am going to uh, I'm going to focus on driving. So if anything else exciting or anything else like that happens, then I will pick up the camera. I'm gonna see about pulling off and setting up the GoPro so you guys can see, you know, the ride, the drive to Stuttgart from Schellendorf. And uh, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. So that is the second official American car that I've seen. I saw a Camaro first thing this morning uh, when I was dropping my wife off and now that Dodge Ram 1500. But let's see, we just ran through a little bit of traffic and now I'm past through the traffic. You guys should have seen that on the GoPro. And now we're back to cruising. All right, so I've made it inside of the Porsche Museum and uh, this is a big year because this is 70 years or Porsche is celebrating 70 years. So from 1948 until 2018, it's pretty dope. Alright, so I just left the Porsche Museum and I'm hoping to break that out into a separate video. So I'm on my way back to pick up my wife from work and I'm back out on the uh, highway. Alright, but I'm hitting some traffic and now it's saying that the speed limit, it was 120, 120 kph. Uh, now it's dropped down to 100 and then it dropped down further to now 80 though uh, kph again. Though I'm still cruising along here at 110 kph, and I'm in the in the flow of traffic, in the thick of things, but I do see signs for 80, saying 80. But I wanted to turn the camera around because I'm hoping to see somebody. There's a graffiti artist, and I don't know if it's one person or a group of people or whatever. Oh, actually, I just think that that sign just said that the speed limit is gone. There's a group of people, or an artist, graffiti artist, and his tag is DRB. You can see it over there. This dude has tagged every single one of these. And the tags are very, like, they're interesting. So I'm hoping to go past a few of them and you guys can see, but as someone who appreciates graffiti as art, seeing that is the most prominent graffiti I've seen, or the most prominent artist I've seen. So hopefully, I'll see more. There's another one. And he 
got the other side too. Obviously, I couldn't could only show you one. Big man, you say this is my box. There's another one. <clears throat> I'm stuck in a bunch of traffic right now, so yeah, that's pretty awesome. All right, so I know I didn't really intro this, but my wife and I came down to Munich and we are in, I don't know where. I'm gonna insert the. So, so if you know where it is, put it in there. Yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna put a put a word where we are. But we just came from a beer garden, which is pretty cool. Had a beer or two, uh, and we're walking back towards where our car is. But I wanted to show you how many people were around here. Yeah, this is less people than there were earlier in this square. But so at this point I'm gonna show you video of inside of this this building And 
and wow, this is a huge clock tower. Yeah, there are two clocks. I don't know why. Hopefully that comes out in the video. But there are lots and lots of people in this square.